And if you go very, you know, posterior here, you see that, uh, first of all, we see very long ventricle, which is good, actually. But the valve is becoming smaller, mm -hmm. right? So perhaps we are too low, as you can see on this image. Perhaps we, we have to pull a little bit up to really see the, the biggest possible mitral annulus. So I would advise you to, uh, no, if, you, if you release the retroflex, probably you, you came back to this original position. So of course you can do it, try to pull like one or two centimeters and do another retroflexing, which is okay. But you're also allowed to slowly withdraw the probe, even if it's retroflexed. A few millimeters, if you don't see, feel any resistance, of course. Now position the heart in the center of the sector again. Good. And now we will be changing the angle, which is rotating uh, along this line, right? So try to keep the, um, uh, the left ventricle very vertical in the center, which is very important. And now go to, uh, we'll go to 60 degrees. But before we do that, just notice, please, that we have the four-chamber view. Very nice four-chamber view with the true apex. So the, the apex is almost not moving. Um, maybe not really true apex because we would have to do slight modification. Yeah, like this, you see. Uh, and we have the right ventricle, right atrium, left atrium. And now we'll move to intercommissural view. So keeping the, valve, the, the probe as it is now, just rotate the plane to 60. Very good, yeah, okay. Stop, and here you see the papillary muscles. So they indicate that you are probably in the right plane for intercommissural view. And you can now a little bit modify this view, so slightly uh, rotate left, right, to see the valve really, but you are probably Correct here. 